Hello, hello again. Today I'm doing a quick video about my favorite shredded chicken recipe. You can use it for so many things. In this video, I'm gonna use it to make enchiladas and um, chicken salad, but you can use it for like chicken noodle soup, barbecue chicken sandwiches, I don't know, anything you want. In this video, I'm gonna be making a total of five chicken breasts. I had two in the freezer that I thawed in the fridge overnight, and I have another full pack that I just bought of three. I think that the recipe says four chicken breasts, but I really just use however much chicken I have and adjust the spices accordingly if I think it needs it. Speaking of spices, you are going to need one teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, of onion powder, and smoked paprika, a half teaspoon of oregano. The recipe says it's optional, but I have always used it, and a fourth teaspoon of pepper. I put all of that into a little glass ramekin and mix it together. Then, of course, before I apply my seasonings, I'm going to pat my chicken dry because that is gross. I go ahead and take it over to the pan, heat up one tablespoon of avocado oil. The recipe says olive oil, but I have avocado oil, so that is what I use. The side of the chicken that I have seasoned face down into the pan and let that brown. Whenever it is, I turn it over, add one cup of chicken broth. I use Knoll's powder, bouillon powder thing. Just dissolve that into one cup of warm water and pour it over. Then you're going to let it simmer covered until it has reached internal temp. I stick it with my little food thermometer that has the cord thing so it can stay in while it cooks and it alerts me whenever my chicken has reached an internal temp of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. In the meantime, I rinse some um, grapes and a couple stalks of celery to put into the chicken salad. I just quarter the grapes and chop up the celery into little tiny pieces. I'm also going to put some chopped walnuts in there because why not? It adds a great layer of another texture. I'm, I don't, I'm trying to sound like I'm, I'm smart. Um, it's a chicken salad. By the time I'm done with that, guess what? Great timing, the chicken has reached temperature. So I take my little lid off. Oh, I forgot to mention, I don't have a lid for this pan. So I use a uh, pizza tray thing and it does the job just fine. So get off my back. Um, okay, so I uncover it and then I take the probe out carefully because it's gonna be hot and I get a little bit paranoid. So I make sure in the middle of both of the chicken breasts are up to temperature and then I put them into a mixing bowl because we are gonna shred this chicken with a mixer. That's right. And of course, while we are doing that, the other chicken breast is going in and doing the same process as we did to the first two. I don't have a stand mixer. It would be better to use a stand mixer just because it would be less splashy, I think, because Using a hand mixer, you get a little bit of splash, but that's okay because it's a whole lot easier than using two forks. I don't know how people use forks to shred meat. It is so difficult. Uh, anyway, getting off topic. I like my chicken to be pretty shredded. I don't like chunks of chicken, but you do you, you know? So after the chicken is shredded, I add my mayo first because I kind of like push it into the chicken with the fork and I don't want to crush any of the celery or the grapes and make it wetter than it needs to be. So yeah, mix in your mayo first. Then I add in my add-ins, which are the grapes and celery and walnuts. Yes, that is what they are called, walnuts. Add those in, give it a good mix and put it in the fridge to chill. Okay, now that our other three chicken breasts are done, we are going to shred those up, of course, and get started on our enchiladas. I have all the recipes that I use linked in the description. The chicken salad, I just do. But for the shredded chicken, for the enchiladas, and for the enchilada sauce that I make, everything will be in the description. However, you can use store-bought enchilada sauce if you want. I just read this girl's blog post and everybody was like, you gotta make her enchilada sauce to do these enchiladas. And I was like, okay, okay, people, I will do it. I do think that it is worth it if you have the little bit of extra time and energy. So to make these enchiladas, you're going to need shredded chicken. I used about two cups in this and added the rest into the chicken salad. The recipe calls for one and a half cups, but I had 10 tortillas instead of the eight tortillas that the recipe calls for. To your shredded chicken, you're going to to add a fourth cup of your enchilada sauce and mix that up. And that, along with shredded cheese, is gonna be your filling. I get the nacho 
shredded cheese. I think that it's Mexican blend shredded cheese seasoned with taco seasoning and it is mwah, magnifique. You take your corn tortillas. You can use flour if you want, but I'm using corn. I take half of them, so five, wrap them in a damp paper towel and microwave them for 30 seconds, flipping them over halfway through. Fill it with a little bit of chicken, fill it with a little bit of cheese, and we're rolling, baby, just like Limp Biscuit or snoop dog although in two totally different ways after you have filled and rolled all of your tortillas you're going to pour the rest of your one and three-fourths cup of enchilada sauce on top and top it with the rest of your cheese i actually didn't use all of the cheese this time which is weird for me but there was just so much cheese so the rest i can just eat <laughs> Heat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, pop in those enchiladas and bake them for 20 minutes until the cheese is all melted and bubbly. And I personally make the rice -a Mexican rice as my side and here they are all done. Muy caliente. That's hot. Sorry for saying that. And I just wanted to give another quick look of the chicken salad. We eat this on my sourdough sandwich bread, which you can see be made in my last video. But here I'm going to eat it on a cracker. And as you can see, my face says, oh my God, I'm a two bite lady. <laughs> Certainly not ladylike, but it's still delicious. Highly recommend and kisses. I'll see you in my next one. Love you. Bye.